What's up, my bros? It's your boy, Two Care OZ on the Bugs Fan Channel, bringing another action figure tour review. This time, we're taking a look at the S. Not even, actually, no, it's not SH Figure Arts. <laughs> this is the Kamen Rider action figure line for Kamen Rider Gav. This is Kamen Rider Gav, popping gummy form, and Kamen Rider Valen, chocolate on form. Now, these represent our primary and secondary writers from Kamen Rider Gav, and this has got me excited because. Usually, I don't delve into the budget figure line unless it's for accessories or, you know, like bikes and things like that. But for this, I'm excited because these guys have been shown by various Japanese collectors and my buddy over at Heroes of Fandom. Go ahead and check out his videos on these two. Uh, that they're SH figure art scale. So, um, you know, for recently, like with Gutchard, I only picked up Gutchard and Legend. I didn't pick up Majade, Valvarad, or Dread. But this has got me excited because this means uh, if they continue the line like this, I'm going to be picking up the primary. Kamen Rider as an SH figure art, but then the secondary and tertiary, all those for it, I'm going to go with this line. So I'm hoping they continue this. Now, these are highly articulated figures. They're, like I said, they're SH figure art scale. They're roughly the same size, with Gav having 38 points of articulation and Valen having 40. Now, let's, let's take a look at the top of here at Gav. We have Kamen Rider Gav popping gummy form, Kamen Rider Valen chalkadon form. On the side, we have Details of those points of articulation, as well as their accessories. Gav comes with his Gav blade and a couple hands, while Valen comes with the Valen Buster, a couple hands, and some uh, hands for Gav. Back here, we have various poses for both of them. Looking really cool. I'm excited. <laughs> and of course, on the side, we just have the standard, you know, these are what they're made out of. And the bottom for both, they just have the choking hazard, you know, just be careful when you have kids. Because, like I said, this is a budget line, this is primarily for children. Uh, but, you know, as an action figure collector, I'm really looking forward to these guys just based on articulation. So, we're going to take a look at the articulation, paint job, accessories, and compare them to SH Figure Arts and other various figure lines. So, let's go ahead and get started with Gav. As I mentioned before, we're going to start off with Gav. So, you can see here is Gav out of the packaging. Straight away, he comes with the relaxed hands out of the packaging. But, like I said, he has the Gav blade right here. It's a nice, hefty solid piece it's not the rubbery weapons we're usually used to i mean the handle's rubbery but the blade itself is solid that's good <laughs> and of course he comes with an alternate hand to hold it only one though for his right hand and then two fisted hands it's really cool yeah like i was saying guys this guy is basically an sh figure parts and just based on articulation uh i know some people in my discord group um uh, well in particular, it says it's like a hybrid, actually, more of a combination of Shoto and SH Figure Arts. And I can kind of see it, you know, with the single jointed elbows and knees versus the double jointed we're used to with SH Figure Arts. But you see here, we can have him move his head up like this far, that far down, rotates all around. His arms can go out this far, that far down. He does have these nice little shoulder plates that are up. And that can move up or swing up. He does have his shoulder armor is also on a hinge too. So you get a full range. You can get a full T pose. You can almost do a Y pose actually. Which is really cool. Does have the bicep swivel up here. Mine's a little tight though. You can see it's there. Like I said, the single joint elbow. With it rotates too. So you just have to find the sweet spot in order to get it to fully rotate around. Of course, his hands are on the ball joint that plug into a socket that's in the arms. On his chest, he can move all the way around like this. He can bend that far forward with the chest, that far back. And diaphragm, actually, that's what I meant to say. His waist articulation is there, too. You see, he also has a little belt gav. Fortunately, it's not detailed for the mouth or the gachizo, but still looks good. He can kick this far forward, that far back. He has... Actually, he doesn't have drop door, drop down joint. Whoa! <laughs> the lights almost went flying out there. <laughs> I leaned a little too hard on the surface, so you can kick that far forward. Like I said, bend this far. You can actually rotate his hip that far out. And of course, he has ankle articulation, but unfortunately, he does not have toe articulation. That's just where he falls flat when it comes to articulation. Now that we've taken a look at Gav, let's go ahead and grab Valen out. Now here is Valen out of the packaging, and you know, like I said with Gav, he looks great. Actually, what I didn't point out with Gav is the fact that Gav, uh, the SH Figure Arts has a translucent gradient, but on here we know we have solid, but the gradient on this looks really good anyway. But yeah, as you can see here, here is Valen in his Chocodon form, 
based off of white chocolate and milk chocolate, actually. But his primary go-to is uh, the Chocodon is based off white chocolate. Yeah, very nice. Almost the same exact articulation scheme as Gav. The only difference is that he has these bits forward, but these are soft plastic, so he can actually move forward without any issue there. It's really good. Which it's all around, you know, the usual. It's actually the same, almost the exact same points of articulation. I gotta figure out what they meant by the 40, the other two. It has it's different from Gav, but honestly, though, Valen looks sweet as well. The only details I know that are missing are, again, just like Gav on his belt, and of course on his weapon, which is his also attention device. Here is the Valen Buster, which does have a feature to open up. The little Chocodon Gachizo is not detailed at all, though. So, you know me, I like to customi uh, customize and paint my figures, so I'm going to do that later. <laughs> Here's two fisted hands that come with Valen, and like Gav, the one hand to hold the Valen Buster. But he also comes with the two alternate hands, which feature Gav holding a Gachizo, pre, uh, you know, pre-open. And then the other little Gachizo cycle thing that goes on his blade. I can't remember the name exactly right at this moment, but it goes here. When you have him holding it, blade, he can do like this. Fortunately, they're stuck there though, they don't come out. So that's the one caveat. But let's go bring out Gav back again. Alright, we got Gav and Valen right here, and might as well go ahead and bring out the other figures like I told you. So we're gonna bring out the first one, it's gonna be Gav's predecessor in terms of the Reva Riders. Here is Gachard, and like I said, and you can see, it's a regard scale. Ah, this is so cool. <laughs> We'll go ahead and remove remove Gotchard over here for a bit. We're gonna bring in the SH Figure Arts Monkey D. Luffy, the Romance Dawn version. So you can see that. <laughs> and yeah, fits in scale as well. Here is Tanjiro Kamado from Demon Slayer, Into no Yaiba. Just so you can see some other SH Figure Arts. The only other one I have here on my table is, uh, <laughs> well, actually, no, it's not my only one. <laughs> so we'll bring out the other blue theme rider. Here is Gaim, the Shinkocho Seho orange arms. Looking pretty sweet. And move these guys. Just for other figure lines, here is Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> From the Sonic 3 movie. Here is the Hasbro Foot Ninja by Customized being Classic Colors. And just so you have a MOOC, here is Masquerade Doll Pant Custom. You can see they all stand really cool together. But yeah, if you happen to like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as check out other videos on this channel. Uh, like I said, you're probably going to see Gaim go up the same day as these guys. Gaim will actually go up before them. <laughs> Let me go bring him back out here so you can have a different view. And as well as check out other videos on this channel. Um, I know it's been a long time. The last review we had actually was Legend. Who, uh, it, well, here I'll pan over. He's just sitting there in that bathtub. <laughs> He's been there basically almost all the time except for my shorts. <laughs> that I put up on YouTube and on TikTok. So but you can go ahead and follow us on our social media. You can follow me at TrueCareOs on both Twitter and Blue Sky. You can follow me at ReggieRain93 on Instagram and Threads. You can follow the show's Twitter, which is both 2 men and Gary's Twitter, which is GBX93. But go ahead, guys. Stand by. Stay tuned for photos of these guys. And then eventually, I'm going to go ahead and put up a short as well. And, you know, when I do get around to customizing these two, you'll also see that video up. So see ya. Bye.